Today we're going to speak about what it's like to be super, super highly sensitive. So some of you may know the term highly sensitive person, which is actually a psychological term to refer to people who process emotions more rapidly or who are more sensitive to emotional input of others. Many of you may also be familiar with the term empath, which is people who are able to tune into emotional frequencies that surround them. And my understanding is that about one in five people on the planet are empaths. An empath's level of sensitivity could vary. All empaths are able to feel, if they tune in, the emotions of people that they're physically around and usually the emotions of animals and general feeling in the room. Some empaths are sensitive to the point where they can also feel like throughout time and space. Let's say that they got a letter in the mail or something like that. Some empaths would be able to touch that and then feel how the person was feeling when they wrote the letter. Some empaths are able to go to land and things and feel what occurred on that land. So there's all sorts of kind of variation. For me, of course, I am an empath or highly sensitive person. I'm very, very, very high on the sensitivity scale. I am a professional psychic. Because of that, I work actively to become more and more sensitive. So in this video, my intention is just to share what it's like to be very highly sensitive so that other people who are empaths or highly sensitive people may be able to relate and just know that you're not alone, but also for those who maybe are not empaths so that they they might be able to understand a little bit about what it is like uh, to be an empath. My, my empathy is almost like a sixth sense, right? To use that familiar term, except I would say it's even stronger than some of the other senses. I'm more of a physical empath than emotional empath. So although, I mean, I can do that, but I typically process things physically. So I'm feeling everything in my body, processing every emotion in my body. Whereas some empaths, you know, if they're next to somebody who's crying, they'll start crying and stuff like that. That's more of an emotional empath. I basically get a hit of energy from absolutely everything. So when it comes to my physical spaces, like my, my workspace and my home space, given the option, right now I rent a furnished place and I'm not able to really move anything. But given an option, I like to be in spaces that are pretty much empty or minimalist. If I'm gonna work in a space, I like to get just new furniture, just the desk and nothing else. Like I don't like to keep any old things in that space, any old books, any old furniture, because I feel force fields around everything. <laughs> around people, but also around physical objects and it can be very, very overstimulating. I do most of my business at this point by email. That's what has worked best for me. Every time I open my inbox, I can feel and sometimes even see the energy radiating off of each email. I, I usually know, I can just feel like what the person is contacting me for, what state they were in when they wrote the email and everything. So sometimes I will like avoid answering certain ones because the energy like emanating from it is so bad and I don't want to be like hit with that energy <laughs> when I open it. So that's so that's with emails. I've gotten to the point now where I actually just don't answer my phone. So if you've ever called me and I didn't answer, don't take it personally. I don't answer for anybody ever. I'm always just hit with the energy of whoever calls me to the point where like my physical body will like merge with their physical body. So if somebody calls me and they're driving through traffic and they're kind of like stressed, their cortisol levels are high and maybe they have like a tension headache or something, like as soon as I pick up the phone, it's like I have that headache and I can feel like wherever they feel the tension in their body, I mean different people in different places, but like the shoulders or the back or like the throat, like a lot of people carry like tension here. It hurts. It like actually hurts my body. That's all just sort of empathy things that are, are don't 
don't even involve actual real people. <laughs> if I don't shut myself down when I'm driving through traffic, I'll actually sometimes like accidentally merge with like the person in the car next to me or something because they're actually very close in physical space. And that has been a problem before where I'm driving next to someone, I'm stopped at a stoplight or something, and then I sort of like merge with that person. It's like a guy thinking of his wife or something like that. And then I'll, I'm observing the thoughts because I think it's interesting. And the next thing I know, you know, the person behind me is like slamming on their horn or whatever because I forgot to move. So... <laughs> That happens like that happens a lot. I also don't drive that much. Usually I'm trying to keep my energy pristine for my clients But let's say I'm not working or I don't really have any readings for a while or I already finished my readings for a while then Basically, I sometimes will be just totally open. It's pretty crazy. Basically I mean people's auras are different sizes so when I say aura I mean the energy field that surrounds every single person which which holds emotional energy and more but it holds that emotional energy that empaths pick up on so let's say like I'm gonna go buy some frozen broccoli okay that's always on my list and I'm going into the frozen food section and there's also a woman there who is gonna buy frozen broccoli too this is a, like a real thing that happened to me this weekend I might like wait until the person is done so I don't have to get too close because if I get close to them then my aura will absorb their aura into my physical body. Sometimes I don't care or I just feel so good I'm like you know what I should just go around these people to like give them a hit like because I can both give and receive. I don't know if everybody's like that but that's how my energy is like I can give my energy and I can receive the other person so it's a two-way street it's not just me absorbing other people's energy I can give out mine and I'm also that way telepathically too which I do think is kind of unusual most people are either like a receiver where they get telepathic kits or they're um, a giver you know they send but I also have that in both directions so but I'd say I'm more of a receiver with telepathy than a giver. But anyway, telepathy is not necessarily part of being an empath. Okay, but anyway, so so like I walk up to the freezer, you know, to get the broccoli because the woman's still standing there staring at all the frozen stuff and just say, excuse me and stuff. And as soon as I step into her field, I'm just hit like with pain, like liver pain. Um... And then also hit with knowing that she is feeling bad about her body, that she's on a diet, she doesn't know like which vegetables she wants to get because she doesn't know how to prepare them or which that she's gonna eat and she's thinking I'm probably not gonna eat any of these, why am I even standing here? I should let this girl, you know, get her stuff and I don't even belong here and like all this stuff. I work hard to keep my energy high because I think that will help the world. So what that means is that anytime that I interact with anybody, it's a, it's going to probably lower my vibration, <laughs> relatively speaking. So I just know that and I just expect that. But, but basically what I will do if I have energy to spare is that I will give energy to other people as I walk throughout the world. And the way that I usually do that is I usually use sound to recalibrate their, their auras. I just will hum frequencies like really quietly or things like that like if I'm standing next to someone or sometimes I do it you know pretty loudly but everybody always just smiles and they just think oh this is just such a happy person I'm just humming you know through the store but actually I'm actually recalibrating them that's what I do with that lady is I just visualize I sometimes see aura colors like I don't see them like with my eyes but I sort of see them, it's kind of hard to describe, like I will psychically see, like the, be able to see the person, like when I'm physically seeing them, if I like close my eyes, I can see their like light body and all the colors. And so then sometimes I'll know if there's like, to some color energy or something like bleeding out or whatever, or whatever they need to balance. Like I'll visualize the color and then I'll just do whatever. It's kind of hard without a person like right here, but then I'll just do like whatever hum frequency that they need. Sometimes I can see the person change right away. 